Welcome back, everyone. So for our next guest, Katie Farina, she believes food is medicine. She's the owner of Katie's Healing Kitchen. She creates dishes that are both healthful and delicious. And this morning, she's sharing healthy recipes that can make some great holiday gifts. She has her cookbook coming out, Katie's Healing Kitchen as well. Good morning to you, Katie. Good morning, Netta. Thank you so much for having me. Now, I love this message that food is medicine. I mean, it's something we all put in our bodies. We all need it. Uh, how important is this for you? Why is this something that you want to share with our viewers? Food is medicine is so important to me for so many reasons. Um, I got into this business because my mom was actually dealing with um, cancer, and I wanted to find a way that I could um, help her. And because I'm not good at math or science, I could never be a doctor or nurse. So I really look to food and the healing abilities of food, hence Katie's Healing Kitchen. I love that. And you have an array of food, it looks like, right in front of you. So let's get right to it. What do you suggest people, you know, can make at home? What can we do that's healthy but also yummy? <laughs> Yeah, for sure, because that's what we're all about here at Katie's Healing Kitchen is making sure that it's also nutritious, but it's also really importantly um, delicious and super easy. So today I'm going to be making some really easy DIY holiday gifts. Um, all the recipes are in my cookbook. So the first one we're going to start off with is a raw, low sugar chocolate bark. So to a bowl, it's really simple. I'm just going to add some raw cacao powder, a little bit of melted coconut oil, and then a little bit of almond butter, so some really great healthy fats, way better than a Hershey's bar. <laughs> and then our last ingredient is just a little bit of maple syrup. So you can see how easy this is to yeah. put together, and it makes a really, really great, easy gift. And then we're just going to whisk this together to make a really beautiful, kind of like a chocolate syrup. Okay. Um, and we're going to put it on a baking, or a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, and we're going to freeze it and make some beautiful bark. And I know you focus a lot on vegan options and you know, so many people are used to milk chocolate, but chocolate I, to me tastes even better when it doesn't have the, the milk in it. Uh, you know, and the, the, what you're putting in together, anti-inflammatory, I mean, it's good for you, right? Absolutely, so this is a chocolate bark that you can feel really, really good about. And because we're only using just a touch of maple syrup, it's really low sugar. And because we're using raw cacao powder, it's super high in antioxidants. And then what we're gonna do is just finish it with a little bit of shredded coconut mm. and a little bit of um, just some frozen raspberries, which are really high in fiber and low, very, very low in sugar. So it's not gonna spike your blood sugar. Okay. So we're gonna have a beautiful chocolate bark that looks like this. We'll put it in the freezer. And after about 20 minutes, it creates this beautiful bark wow. that you can give away. That was gift. so quick. I mean, you did it live on TV in like 30 seconds. I know. I love that. That's, that's really how easy it is. Yeah, that's my kind of cooking, Katie. Uh, what else do you have right next to you, too? I see a tower that looks beautiful. Oh, my gosh. So one of my most favorite recipes is actually to give away as a gift is actually little popcorn, cheesy popcorn toppers. And this is so ridiculously easy to make. So all we're going to do is we have a food processor here. And we're going to add some cashews, a little bit of nutritional yeast. If you're not familiar with that ingredient, um, it's something you can get almost anywhere now. It's really high in protein. It's actually a complete protein, really high in B vitamins. And then we're going to do some garlic powder, salt, some um, seasonings. And we're going to whisk this together in our food processor and kind of create like a cheesy topping mm -hmm. that you can take popcorn and just sprinkle it over. So it's a really healthy, easy treat. Oh, good. I'm glad you're reminding our viewers about nutritional yeast. I forgot about it, too. I mean, I used to use it all the time just instead of cheese. And it tastes good. It's thick. It's like hearty stuff. Oh my gosh, it is so amazing. And um, like I said before, everything I do is vegan and gluten free. So nutritional yeast is a really great thing to have because it gives you that cheesy flavor that a lot of times people are really craving when they go vegan. Yeah. Um, so it's a great alternative. So all you would do um, is just whisk this together in your food processor. And then I love just taking old spice jars and you can get really fun little labels at places like Michael's and you can just um, put the put the topping in here and then shake it over your popcorn and it makes a really fun easy delicious gift great idea and then you're reusing some stuff that people might throw away no need to do that so you could put it together in a gift i love this katie and i love your passion for vegan cooking i mean food really is medicine it certainly can be and you know thank you for doing this and explaining to our viewers there's other options out there <laughs>
Yeah, absolutely. And so many of these recipes are actually in our cookbook, so it's a really great, easy gift um, ideas in there. So. Yeah, and we showed some images that look delicious from your cookbook. So thank you so much, Katie. Katie's HealingKitchen.com for all that information. Good to have you on this morning. Yeah, thank you. And um, check me out on Instagram at Katie's Healing Kitchen, too. Love it.